way. No turning back now. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Chrono Plays Grand Theft Auto 5 post commentary. I was screwing around in this game and I was doing the triathlons and I decided to record one and it turns out that it was a really good thing that I did record it because some strange things happened that I would like to point out just for shits and giggles really and this is me screwing around and messing up the dive just because yeah okay um so note that I'm now in sixth place and it doesn't take very long before I just pass these people. Like, completely. And look, there, I'm in first. Which is really unusual. When I played the played Grand Theft Auto V on the Xbox 360, I always had problems in the swimming section. I was always last place in the swimming section, but I would make it up in biking and running and just, you know, make it to first. But... I don't know if it's like a Michael thing and I always played as somebody else. Like maybe maybe the three different characters have three different, uh, you know, really good, at, or yeah, really good things that they can do. Like one of them does good, really good on the biking, one of them does really good in the swimming, one of them does really good in the running maybe. I don't know. Um, but it was consistent with Michael. I did all three of the triathlons. And Michael was always passing everybody, just leaving him completely in the dust in swimming. But, you know, he always had problems with biking, as we will see later. Now, I gotta ask, um, there's not much visuals here, obviously. Most of the screen is water. So you're not really getting the beauty of Grand Theft Auto V yet. Especially with my somewhat weird recording software. But you see all the black shit flying around? What is that supposed to be? Okay, I'm in the middle of the lake. What's this black crap floating around? Is Mount Chalad an active volcano or something? What the hell? I don't get it. And it's everywhere, too. It's just kind of... I don't know. It looks like ash. It, it really does. Well, it looks like black ash. But is it supposed to be, like, paper or something? Oh, that was me trying to spice up the visuals a little bit using that news chopper. But every time I did that, well, when I did that swimming, it stopped me swimming, as you saw on the screen. So I quickly turned it off and started swimming again. Um, I do that a couple of times throughout just to spice up the visuals a little bit. And I'm still swimming. The entire time, I am hammering. I mean, hammering the X button just to go, f just to keep going faster. But note the fact that my stamina doesn't go down. Now I played a lot of this game on the Xbox 360. The Xbox 360 did the same exact thing for me. No matter how hard I ran, or how fast I ran, or how far, my stamina never went down. And that's one of the big things that they warn you about. Do not run too far, your stamina will go down, you'll lose health. But it only ever happens once in the game. And that's the first time you do the running with the crazy lady. And, yeah. I don't know. But the game is starting to look significantly more pretty now. I know a lot of people will focus on the reflections in the water. I don't know, they're a little wonky looking to me, but it's the ripples that are screwing with everything. Obviously. But we can see the mountains in the background, and those things are still pretty far away. The draw distance on the PS4 is quite impressive. I was screwing around just looking at uh, traffic. Uh, just sitting on a crane, looking at traffic. Just watching the traffic just go the entire way as far as the eye could see. Which was quite impressive. I, I was quite impressed. But it might be the, the trick that's like in Grand Theft Auto 4, where after a certain distance, the traffic is just fake. 
Now, I don't know if that's the case, because I could watch the cars go from up close, where they're probably not fake, the whole way into the horizon. So it might have been that the cars were fake up close as well, because I was sitting on a crane at the time. But I doubt it. But it all looks really pretty. I mean, I'm... I'm kind of impressed with this game. I'm kind of glad I got a PS4. And we're still swimming. I mean, this entire thing is like half an hour long. It drove me bonkers with how long it was. My thumb was killing me. My thumb still kind of hurts from doing it. Yeah, so apparently there are going to be long stretches of quiet here because right now there's absolutely nothing really going on. It's just swimming. About this time when I was playing it, I'm thinking, is this over yet? I'm getting so bored. No, seriously, I mean, it's just me hammering the A button in one direction and that's it. But I'm trying to cut corners and everything, trying to keep my time down a little bit. But it doesn't work all that well, <laughs> as will be seen once the biking portion comes up. The biking portion was entertaining. I mean, the swimming portion, you're swimming in a straight line. The running portion, it's really slow, so you have plenty of time to react to things. But the biking portion, the biking portion of this is entertaining. Probably why it's the longest of the tri or longest part of the triathlons. Right here, I'm sitting, okay, I'm on the beach, I'm on the beach. Where are the bikes? Where are the bikes? I had no idea where the bikes were. I was just running straight, hoping the bikes were at the top of the hill. They were, so we're good. But look at where everybody else is. They're still in the water. I mean, they're probably only halfway across the lake by now. I have no idea where they are. And I just cruise off. And initially, I'm smart enough to keep on the road. What little there is of it. Throughout this entire time, I'm still hammering the A button. Still driving me bonkers. How? Yeah. <laughs> but here you can get a little bit better of a, a look at how pretty this game is. It looks. It does look really nice, especially compared to the 360 version. I mean, this is. I would have to say the graphics are definitely higher than. Uh, Skyrim. Elder Scrolls 4 Skyrim. Which, of course, begs the question, what is this game going to look like in a couple of years on the Almost PC when die. somebody makes one of those photorealistic mods for it, like they have in Grand Theft Auto 4? That looked really, really, really nice that I can't play because for some reason Grand Theft Auto 4 won't let me save unless I have one of them... Rockstar Social Club accounts and sign into it. I can't can't play single player locally. Yeah, there's that. Me taking shortcuts didn't work out that well. But can't play Grand Theft Auto 4 locally, single player, and save unless I have a Rockstar Social account. Why is that? I mean, seriously. Grand Theft Auto 5, seriously, you can play Grand Theft Auto 5 without logging in to anything online. And I did for a while. So why couldn't I play Grand Theft Auto 4 without logging into the social club? Which wow. just means this that when, Christ not if, enjoy. but when the servers go down for the social club, I've seen a lot of illegal drafting. Hope the educators are on top of this. Yeah, if she's watching me, I don't know how she's seeing illegal drafting, because there's, like, nobody around me. But, anyways. So, yeah, uh, when Rockstar shuts down the servers, and that's not an if, that's a when Rockstar shuts down the servers, that means nobody will be able to play Grand Theft Auto 4, ever. So, yeah, screw you, Rockstar, for doing it. Which... 
was kind of part of my debate on whether I should this buy this really for the PS4 or wait for rich people. until, you know, the PC version came out. Because the PC version is going to be, obviously, the better graphical experience. Um, and, of course, there will be mods. So the PC version will most definitely be worth it as long as it's a good port. Mod, if it's a shit port, that. then obviously not. But So if I was debating on waiting for that waiting for the PC version, but, you know, then I just kind of went out and got, look, I got past. Bloody knows how, but I got past. But I was waiting for, I was going to wait for the PC version, but then I just decided on the PS4 version, which I guess is kind of cool because the You're PS4 like version can play completely offline. I don't have to be plugged into the internet to play it. Unlike the PC version, well, we don't know what the hell's going to happen with the PC version since, you know, Rockstar removed all the songs from, what was that, Vice City or San Andreas? I forget now, the details elude me, but yeah, so Rockstar removes games, or removes songs from games retro retroactively, which is annoying as crap. They don't let you save the game unless you're signed into their social network, and so... Rockstar just kind of doesn't seem to like PC gamers, and they don't exactly have a great track record of porting games to begin with. Yeah, I don't get it. You really think that they would be, like, all over PC gamers? You really think they would, because PCs allow the full game to come out. We're not limited by hardware, because we can always upgrade our hardware. Someone's still got it. And people are willing to spend more on PCs because PCs don't just play games. They do everything. But, I don't know. I digress. That's getting boring. Me rambling on about crap that doesn't actually make a difference to pretty much anybody except for me. But yeah, <laughs> that was a little screw up, that little turn there. And that happens a lot when you're flying down the road on a bike. You're trying really, really hard not to fall off of the bike. Because, well, once you fall off, I mean, you're kind of screwed, aren't you? Really? I mean, it does definitely hurt your times when you do that. Woo, and there goes somebody. I, I really don't know how they get bursts of speed like that. I really don't. Because I see that quite often in the bike races. This will just zip on by. And then they'll lose all their speed and I'll pass them again. Is there, is there like, uh, I don't know. When they're mashing the A button, do they get a bigger burst of speed than I do? I don't know. But now we're getting into the city. The city looks pretty. And I mean pretty. I enjoy running around the city in this game, especially in first person. It looks gorgeous in first person. It, you actually kind of feel like you're, you know, you're more attached to the game. Unlike in the third person, you know, you feel like you're above it all. You're, well, I keep describing it as you're a demigod, and that's kind of what you are in this game. Uh, I mean, you die, you come right back, you. There aren't really any consequences for your actions. If you, well, if you kill somebody, the cops chase you for a little while, and then that's it. So, there are no consequences for your actions, really, in this game. So, you, you start becoming detached from the game. And I fell off my bike. And it, watching that back, him lying there seems to be significantly less time than when I was actually playing it. I thought it, I'm like I'm sitting there, I'm pushing a button, I'm like, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. And he didn't get up. But, um, it feels like so much longer when you're actually doing it. I thought he wasn't going to get up. I thought he just said, fuck it. But yeah, so when you're playing Grand Theft Auto, you're kind of detached from the game. You, you kind of feel you don't really have any kind of connection to the characters, to the players, to the NPCs. 
and all that. And I... It's basically because you're a demigod in the game. Very little consequence to any of your actions. You can do pretty much whatever the hell you want. Whenever you want. And just keep doing it. But when you're in first person, when you're looking at these the NPCs face to face, you kind of feel a little bit more attached to the game. Of course, that doesn't stop you from being a demigod and just basically doing whatever you feel like doing whenever you feel like doing it. But, yeah. I don't know, it's just weird playing this game. But it's fun playing this game. I really, really enjoy it. And if you get Grand Theft Auto 5, I don't know if it was just because I started playing it on release day or whatever, but they gave me the blimp. You remember the blimp that you could only get if you got the special edition of Grand Theft Auto 5 on the Come PS3 on, or the Xbox 360? And apparently they upped the speed of the blimp. I didn't get to fly the blimp. What I always wanted to do, and what I might still try doing, is I wanted to shoot the guy in the blimp and make the blimp crash so I could fly the blimp. Because that was something in the 360 that you could only do if you had, you know, if you had bought the special edition game. And I really wanted to do that, and I never actually could. I tried. Quite a bit, in fact. But I just couldn't. I could never hit the guy. I mean, he never got close enough. I was always standing on top of buildings with the sniper rifle. I would always zoom in. But I could never hit the guy. I could never blow up the blimp, either. I tried that, too. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe the blimp, the flying around blimp, doesn't really do anything? It's, like, not real or something? It's just kind of appearance sakes? I guess that's possible. Stay strong. Me cutting more corners. And not getting that far. <laughs> no, I think this game... I don't, I'm starting to think this... Or at least the triathlons have a little bit of rubber banding. Probably to make you feel a little bit better as you're actually... Doing the races. If you're not that good at them, you don't feel like you're getting your ass whooped that bad. If, you're, if you are good at them... I accidentally hit the brake. If you are good at them, then it keeps keeps up with you, and it's like you have more of a challenge. I was really hoping that lady would say more. You know, that they would keep <gasps> talking, but no, they don't. They just she just kind of says one line, one little throwaway line, and that's it. She just doesn't say anything. I was going to leave it in that, for like the straightaways, I was going to leave it in that view for long periods of time, just let her talk, but she doesn't. Kind of disappointed about that. But eh, it's, it's not that bad. At least it was added. I mean, it's something. Something that probably a lot of other games wouldn't add. But... Come on, you know, I would point out I'm really, really, really early on in the game that I'm doing this. And I would still point out that the only time my health dropped is when I fell off the bike. When I hit the pole and fell off the bike. And my stamina hasn't dropped any at all. Either. It doesn't get any more intense than this. And her comments start getting a little repetitive. They do. It's kind of annoying. But, what was I saying? Look, I just got passed. And I'm in first place. No, seriously, check it. That guy's right in front of me. And I'm still in first place. Z zips on past me. And he floors it, too. I mean, that guy just goes. And if you watch the little dot on the map, on the mini-map, you'll see he's following the path that we're taking. So, the dude's in front of me. The AI, at least, Someone's is in front of me. Because he goes off down this l little windy pass on the beach. And we didn't go down... Sorry, people. We didn't go down this path before. So, we haven't been on the beach before. We won't be on the beach again. 
and he's still zipping on past me, but I'm still in first place. And the dude just buggers off too, completely, like, gone. So, I guess this game does have some pretty serious rubber banding, and I would assume that the game thinks that he's in last place, and he has to catch up to everybody. Because dude just pisses off, man. My attempt to cut corners again didn't turn out so well. And I almost hit that pole. But yeah, I mean, look, the, the guy's almost on the other side of the freaking map by now. Dude is gone. Now, this He's is on the main stretch of the road. He's across the road. Oi. All these people cheering on the side. You know what's really, really fun in this game? Is picking a person at random. Slow down around corners. Yeah. Uh, picking a person at random and just following them for a little while and see what they do. Because first time I did it, I was actually expecting just some kind of loop or something. They don't loop. At least not that I've noticed yet. I might have to follow somebody around for a couple hours to figure that out. But dude, look, the guy in the... That guy that was ahead of me, freaking gone. Blocks and blocks ahead of me. Just completely pisses off. And I'm in first place. Yeah, this game is a little goofy. I think I noticed this before, too. In, in... I think specifically this triathlon, I think I noticed this before. Where somebody would pass me and I'd still be in first Come place. On, look at that! I don't think it's all that uncommon. At least, not when I played it. Might be me, though. I tend to break things. Accidentally. And I don't really know why or how or whatever. Yeah. Sitting here watching this back while I'm recording this. this really I'm leading back and forth. For rich people. Leaning back and forth while making turns. I don't know, it's just... Get into it. it. I don't know, it, I really like this game. I'm really enjoying this game. It's really fun. And then we get to drive past Michael's house. <laughs> yell out, yell to the side of your bike. Or yell off the side of your bike, Michael. Hey, Jimmy, get off the bed. Stop masturbating. I'm in second now, and now I'm in first. Yeah, that happens a lot. They pass me, I un I pass them. I'm trying to think of other things to talk about. This race tip goes on for fucking ever. But it's almost over because the bike portion is done, and now I'm just jogging. Which doesn't near feel nearly as fun as the the biking. And I never got the hand, hang, hang of the controls. As you can see with me jerking around when I'm turning. The, I don't... There seems to be a dead zone in the PS3 controller. I don't know if it's the controller or if it's the game itself, but there seems to be a dead zone where you have to push slightly farther than you would expect to and then it moves too damn fast. Obviously, I'm becoming accustomed to it as I'm able to make the turns without overshooting or undershooting. But the jerky is kind of disorienting. I don't know. I think it's some kind of, like, acceleration kind of thing. You know, like how mouse acceleration annoys the living hell out of people? I think what it is is, like, you push it over a little tiny bit, it moves slower. But if you push it over twice as far, it doesn't move twice as fast. It moves slightly more than twice as fast. So when you're getting the whole way across, it's moving significantly faster than you would expect it to. It's no linear kind of increase in speed. And I think that's what screws with me so much, is that it does that. And it's not really a big problem when you're in cars or if you're on the bike. But you know where it's a big problem? The big problem is when you're flying. It is really, really hard to fly like that. Now, the third, the, the third person controls seem to be the same as they were on, like, the 360. I don't have the PS3 version to compare to. Um, 
but they seem to be the same as they were on the 360, and they seem to feel all right. But the first person control seemed to be a little, I don't know, weird. I, don't, I really don't know how to describe it outside from having you look at the screen and watching me jerk around while I'm turning. I don't get it. And at this point in the game, I'm sitting there screaming, Is it done yet? Because my thumb was killing me. Ugh. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be mashing the X button. Which Grand Theft Auto did I get that off of? Where you mash the run button to run? Come I think on, that was Grand Theft Auto San Andreas where they brought that in. Where you mash the button to run. Or was that Grand Theft Auto San Andreas that you mash the button to run to get around the stamina limitation? And it was Grand Theft Auto 4 that you're supposed to mash the button to run. It was something like that. I don't remember. But that was the trick. You could mash the run button and it would get over the stamina problem. Maybe that was Grand Theft Auto 3. I forget. Oh, I'm having a nostalgia trip. I love Grand Theft Auto 3. Played that for hours and hours and hours when I was younger. I was going to say a kid, but I don't remember playing Grand Theft Auto 3 when I was a kid. I think that might have been before Grand Theft Auto 3 when I was a kid. I don't remember. But, yeah, endless hours of Grand Theft Auto 3. I think it was... I think you could do that in Grand Theft Auto 3. You mash the run button and get around the stamina limitation. Got it. I don't know, but I've had that habit for so long. I, I just don't remember. And here we're coming up, finally, on the end of the run. For a race of this length. Yeah, I figured I'd leave it in this view, but when I switched to it, it stopped. Like, I stopped running behind the tree, so it looked kind of weird. So, that was the Coyote, or Coyote Cross Country Triathlon, and look, I'm in 8th place all overall. Like, universally 8th place. So yeah, I guess that's the advantage of buying this game so early, is that I can get on the, you know, international leaderboard so quick. So I'll say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game, and have fun.